A little piece of Scotland's treasure, a letter written on vellum by the hand of 14th century King Robert the Bruce. Put simply, it's a demand note. Robert, by the grace of God, King of the Scots to his sheriff and his bailies of forests, we have ordered and ordained that you repair and perfect justly and without delay the pond which pertains to the mill of forests. The monarch puts his foot down, instructing, in Latin, urgent repairs after a complaint from monks at nearby Pluscarden Abbey. Urged to take better care of the estate, clan chief Malcolm Thane of Brodie is understood to have acted sharply. The guardians of Brodie Castle are thrilled to have the letter back in their collection. It's obviously been a big part of Brodie. It's been here a long time. Um, It always was on display and always um, a much-loved piece of the collection by our um, with our guides and the tourists so um, the guides were dancing for joy when it came back eventually. Unlike the battle-hardened king the letter has proved fragile hypersensitive to light over the centuries hence a new shield. Documents like this um, are really affected by the light so the case that we have um, here today has now got um, light sensors on it so it when we open the lid, as we've seen, um, the light comes on, then we have time to read the interpretation and put the cover back on. The Bruce document is clearly a valuable piece of Scottish history, but it's not the oldest antique here at Brodie Castle, not by a long way. The clan's exhibits also include two ancient Egyptian mummies, dating back almost four centuries before Christ. But for many, the daddy of the collection will likely remain the Bruce letter. Ian Ramage, STV News.